Hi, I'm Mindy Peters, the Solutions Manager at SPI, and this is the fourth in a series of five videos on everything that happens behind the scenes, sort of automations wise, after we make a sale in Teachable. We're sharing this with you just with the hope that it will provide some inspiration for ways that you could automate your behind the scenes process after you make sales, whether they're in Teachable or another platform. In this video, I'm going to specifically zoom in on part of the email automation that we have running in ConvertKit to show you how we automatically add people into our circle community. I'll walk you through what that step looks like, what we're doing here, and show you the Zap in Zapier that is making this happen. So let's go to ConvertKit and I'll show you that step of the automation. So here is my automation in ConvertKit. This is the automation that kicks off whenever anyone purchases 123 affiliate marketing. And in the previous video, I went through everything in the automation except for the step that we're going to look at today. So if you're interested in sort of the other things that are happening here, see the link below for the video. It's the third video in this series. So this is the part of the automation that we're going to focus on for this video. I'm going to give you an overview of what is happening here, and then we'll go through the individual parts. What is happening here, we, you see we have some branches. And so we have a tag listed here, and then a yes and a no, and then some things are happening based on whether it's a yes or a no, and then we're joining back together for the final step of this automation. What ConvertKit is doing here is it's looking to see if there's a tag. And the tag that we're looking for is Academy Active Member. That tag is telling me that this person is a member of the SPI Academy. If they have the tag, they're a member of the SPI Academy. If they don't have the tag, they're not currently a member of that SPI Academy. This is a circle community that we have set up for all of our course students. And if you're interested in joining it for free, if you sign up for our Build Your Own Brand course, which is a free course, you can get access to the SPI Academy too. So this is a, um, a circle community where our course students can talk to one another, ask questions about their individual courses, and then there's some uh, spaces that are open to everybody where everybody can kind of interact with each other. Now, what I ultimately am looking to accomplish here is, if someone is already a member of that community, I just wanna give them access to the parts of the community that are specific to this course. If that person is not already a member of that community, I don't really wanna do anything. I want to let them, as they're working through the course, come to the point at which they can join the community on their own. I'm not gonna add them to the community right away. I wanna let them make that choice. But I do want to keep a little record to tell me, hey, they could be a member if they wanted to. And what we do with that information is somewhere down the road, you know, periodically we send an email to everybody who could be a part of the academy but hasn't chosen to join yet, just to let them know, hey, here's a benefit you have that you're not using. If you would like to use it, here's how to use it. Okay, so let's look at this specifically and I'll show you how all of that is accomplished. What I have in this ConvertKit automation here is a condition. And this condition lets me tell ConvertKit either to check for a tag or check for a custom field value. In this case, I've told ConvertKit, please check to see does this person have Academy Active Member tag? And if they do, make me to make me some paths for that. So if they do, we're going down the yes path. And if they do have that tag, I am going to add another tag on. And that tag is called Academy Fluent Affiliate. That correlates with the name of the tag inside of ConvertKit. I'm gonna add that tag into ConvertKit. And that tag is gonna kick off some stuff in Zapier that I'll show you in a minute. If they do not have that tag, again, I don't want to do anything to the customer except keep a record that they could join the Academy. And so in that case, I am going to update a custom field. Um, the custom field is called Academy Status and the value is eligible. If I hit edit step here, you can see how that is 
accomplished. So I chose an action and I chose set a value for custom field, chose my custom field from the dropdown list, and then entered the value that I wanted added. So those are my two paths. With this first path, when I add in this tag, and this also is just an action, add a subscriber to a tag, I pick that tag from a dropdown. When this tag is added, this tag is gonna kick off some stuff in Zapier. Let's take a look at that. Here's my folder in Zapier related to the SPI Academy. And you can see I have a whole bunch of zaps here. And all of these Academy tag zaps are basically identical, it's just customized for the individual course. It's basically customized to which space am I adding them to in circle. So here's the specific zap for this tag. I went over zaps in more detail in video two of this series, and you can refer back to that for a little more information about zaps. I'm going to move through this zap a little bit faster than I did in that video because we've already covered it. So my trigger here, um, I'm using the app convert kit and Zapier is looking for a new tag subscriber. So basically Zapier is looking for any time my subscriber has a specific tag added to them. And my setup here is that tag Academy Fluent Affiliate. And just to return to ConvertKit, you can see the name of the tag here is Academy Fluent Affiliate. So when that tag gets added, Zapier sees that and it kicks off this Zapier automation. So. That's my trigger. Here's my action. I have two actions. This is a multi-step zap. The action takes place in circle. And the first thing it's going to do is tag a member. And in my action, it is in my community SPI Academy. And to the member, it is going to add the fluent affiliate tag. The next thing it's going to do, let's move on to the next step. The next action, is also in circle and it's going to add a member to the space. And again, the community is the SPI Academy and the space is the 123 affiliate marketing space. And it is adding the subscriber. Again, if you need more information on specifically how to set up zaps so that you're pulling the right information in, see the second video in this series. That's the zap. So that's what's happening with this step in my ConvertKit automation. ConvertKit is checking to see, does this person belong to the SPI Academy? If so, it's adding a tag. That tag kicks off a zap to add that person in, in circle, into the right space in circle. And if that person doesn't have a tag, I'm just basically adding a behind the scenes note to say this person could be a member of the Academy if they would like to be. When all of that is done, it moves on to the final step, which we covered in the last video, which is sending out an email to welcome the person into my new course in Teachable. In our fifth and final video, I will walk you through the process we use with Zapier to send ourselves a Slack notification for some of our higher value products so that we know the minute somebody purchases one of those products so that we can reach out to those people directly. If you're looking for an email service provider that has cool conditional formatting in their automations like I've shown you in this video, we highly recommend ConvertKit. We think that ConvertKit is the perfect sort of mix of sophisticated automation, but it's still really easy to use and you know not too complicated to figure out. To sign up with our affiliate link, go to smartpassiveincome.com slash getconvertkit.